Hello and welcome again to my series on sketching birds. Before we go on, of course, if you could subscribe, that would be really nice. Thank you. And also, ring the little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well, the bird today is the vulture. A fearsome looking bird, but very important for the environment. Now, I'm going to start with the head. And, uh, well, actually the beak. The beak is a fearsome object. You know, it has a great kind of curve, like that, kind of hooked curve, which comes up like that, almost for tearing into carcasses and so on, and it's clean-up job <laughs> that it does. And the bottom part comes in, and there's a bit of a bump there, and then it comes down to the tip like that, and comes out, and then back in again like that. And this part here, that's where you see the start of the head, the curve at the top of the head comes up and round like that. The beak itself has got markings on it, so there's one here, and a kind of point there, and the tip as well, and also down here. Now the eye, this kind of nasty looking eye, they take a line from across here, start over there, then draw a slope coming up like that, and then a fairly large round eye like that. Okay, and you can put the uh, kind of darker part of the center in there with the highlight there. And then around the outside, you want to do another line like that. So you get that kind of look there. Okay, now the neck itself goes quite long, but in this one, it's kind of uh, doubled over. So you get the neck starting about here and coming down. And it's going to cover behind its wings, which come in about there. And the back of the neck comes in like that, following that line there. And then it kind of hooks up and curves over like that. Okay? That kind of hump shape. You imagine that line here, if it wasn't hidden by the wing, would go up and round there. And that would get the, give you the long neck. Okay? Um, but as I say, we're going to put the wing in. And the great wings, which they have, starts off like this, curves over. It comes down like that. Before I put that in, I want you to put in, I want uh, you to put in, and me too, <laughs> the back of the vulture, which curves from this point here. These are kind of white, but then it becomes kind of brown uh, feathers here into a curve like that. And we're seeing the bit of the other wing on the other side. So that will come in like that. But this wing here, as I say, curves down like that, and the back of it comes in and curves down there. And say so that's the other one on the other side there. But let's follow on with this part of the wing here. As you come down, most of the small feathers are on the top here. But as it comes down to about there, uh, we see a line of longer feathers coming in, curving across there. I'll put that in as a rough guideline just now. Below that, there's another line of longer feathers. And I'll put that in again as another guideline here. But below that, we have longer feathers coming in. I mean, a long slope like that, quite a few of them. And then again, there's another lot coming in from there. Um, as these feathers come along here, by the way, they get longer. And there's another section of longer feathers just about in there. Again, I'm just putting guidelines in just now. And then the back, the tip of the wing comes in with long, feathers, much longer feathers coming in down to kind of point there, okay? As I said, these other uh, feathers on the other wing, you can just see in the background here, it's a kind of silhouette almost. Come in about that, okay? And there's another section of smaller feathers coming in there. And the tail itself um, kind of sticks down when it's perched like that. It takes up that kind of shape there, okay? Now, on the, on the side here, we have the legs. We have the underside of the bird there, the kind of breast of the bird there, and underneath that we have the legs coming out. Again with these kind of furry shorts they have on. <laughs> and uh, the talons themselves of course will be quite vicious looking as they take part in the, the ripping of the carcass and so on and get these great talons coming down like that. It says gripping a rock or something. Another one coming down right there. Great wicked looking tunnel. 
another one coming in there and the other leg appearing just kind of here over the end of the the rock that are on like that okay now I decided to put a bit more detail on here I've actually altered this slightly I've moved the eye in a bit more towards the the beak itself it was over here slightly but I moved it in there okay made the beak, beak a bit sharper and uh, now we start to move down here get a bit of uh, detail in for the kind of short feathers we see here and short feathers going over the top of that curve there but as we go down to the wing um, I put in some guidelines for these smaller feathers along the top and they do this kind of thing like little scallop shapes and then the scallop shape below comes in for each one to touch the center of the curve of the one above like that and just keep on kind of doing that and that comes down all the way down to about let's say about here so I'm just going to draw the bottom line in very roughly and that curves up the way like that and then I'm going to carry on and fill in the rest of this with these scallop shapes okay I've done that and as you can see as I came to the bottom I made this bottom row quite a bit longer than the top ones and I'm going to carry on with another row below that like that again moving up on a slight curve and below that then we started to get serious a lot bigger and longer feathers coming into this area here like that curving up to the edge there and as we come to this section uh, they're a lot longer like that start to curve back in the way like that and then this section here the feathers are really quite long come down a long curve like that and then start to curve that way to these points here with a couple of more pointed ones at the bottom then on this side here we have some more long feathers come in like that and then beside that there's some more coming in just slightly shorter than those ones now to about there okay and then as I said there's a few underneath come down to the tail feathers like that and then if we can just put in some detail up here these kind of slight spiky feathers on the back of the vulture like that see the kind of spiky shapes come in and this one kind of sticking out a bit and the silhouette of the other part of the other wing come in How about there now we move on to the uh the feathery shorts down here <laughs> underneath and put in the talons a bit more solidly there okay now what i'm going to do now is to get a pen now I'm going to outline my pencil line and rub out all the pencil lines when I've done that so to make it ready for my colour pencils. All right, now as you can see, I've been working over my pencil lines and uh, the ones that I use for the neck, I use little short strokes, you know, to get the sense of the kind of short quills, the short feathers. But on the back here, you can lose, use much longer strokes like that to suggest these long spiky feathers along the back like that okay and I smooth the line of course for the top of the wing and this curve coming down here and around the corner and the rest of these lines are all done fairly smoothly you know just draw in like that and go over all your pencil lines okay well, I'm going to do that and catch up with you when I've finished Right, the colours I'm going to use on the vulture are rather sombre, apart from the, uh, <laughs> the yellow. But they range from yellow through light brown to dark brown to blues, uh, grey and black. But I'm going to start off with the yellow. And as you can see, I've started round about the top of the eye here. And we have yellow you know, spreading round about this area here. Okay, and on to the tip of the beak as well. And the bottom part of the beak too. And a bit of yellow underneath there as well. And what you can also do is you can also 
bring in little touches of yellow on to some of these little wing tips here. Uh, it's not going to be yellow overall because I'm going to cover over with another colour, but this will kind of shine through and give a slight golden quality to the top of the wing here. Okay, so I'll add a wee bit more down here. All right, coming across. Okay, and then we move to a uh, kind of golden brown colour, this one here, okay, and you'll find that this colour is apparent here and also in some of these spiky feathers as well along its back, like that. Now this is a, a colouring job which you'll have to be a bit patient with because there's lots of things to do. But uh, I'm starting off just to give you an idea how to, to build it all up. Uh, and now we move on to this area here. And some of these, like the yellow ones, will be put in fairly heavily, like that. Just random, you know, not too many. And then what I'm going to do, once I've done all these kind of random ones, is to just kind of shade over it with this colour. Right, as you can see, I've uh, shaded in quite a few of the feathers with this golden brown colour and also shaded over the top of the whole area, like that. Okay, I'll make them back to the colour later, but what I'm going to do now is move to a darker brown. This one here, see the difference? Okay, and what I'm going to do with that is put in a few more random feathers here, but also do a bit of shading over the top to get that curve of the wing here. Uh, the colours on the wing do appear golden sometimes, but they're a kind of a slightly dirty brown colour, mostly. So that's why I'm going over this uh, with this darker colour brown here. Getting a bit of darker shading, put a bit of weight on my pencil to get this roundness to the to the wings. Okay, as I come up here. But as I come down here, what I want to do is do this uh, layer of feathers here. I want to get the impression that they're standing out slightly, so I'm going to shade in underneath them like that, but coming along that row. Okay, I've done that line, and I've moved down to the line of feathers below that. I'm doing the same thing, but I'm bringing the shading down into the feather itself. See that? Along the edge of the feather beside it. Give the sense of it being shaded. Like that, you see? And carrying on right up here. Again, I'm going to go over this with, uh, probably with black. Just intensify that, that shading. It comes up in here. And then what I can do is just a bit of this brown again underneath these feathers and shade it over the top. Because this is going to be very dark, very dark down here, okay? And uh, up here as well, the silhouette of the other wing. And a bit of shading over here. A bit of darkness under these sharp looking feathers here. It's going to be very dark in there, but I'll get black to do that. Okay, so I'm going to shade over that, then get the black. Okay, I'm moving on to the black now. Before I come down to the wing, let's move up to the head again and do a bit of shading here. Now the centre part of the eye here is going to be black. But this part and the outside here is going to be this golden brown colour. Right, coming down here with a little bit of yellow just in here. More shading in there like that. Okay. And uh, some black also, you'll see a bit in the inside of the, the beak here. And the line under there. Black delineating these shapes. And up around here.
a little bit of this uh, warmer color over the top of the beak here. Leave a bit there so that it's like a highlight, okay? And down here too. And then we have very dark shading under the beak here. And then a little line here. Coming down then a bit of deep shading just a bit here. And we get a few kind of marks like that for the feathers. Okay, now move down to the wing now. And again, what I'm going to do is just to see these brown bits of shading I did, I'm going to go over most of them with the black, just to deepen that like that. See that? And blend in by taking the weight off into the other colour. Right, as you can see, I've been working my way along these feathers here, and deepening these shadows with black in behind this row here. Next, I'm going to move up to the top here, and this part here is quite shaded as well. So if you put in just at the part of the wing here, very black, get that depth going in there. Um, nice bit of deep shadow there. And as this comes around here, all these sharp bits of feather come down, they become blacker. So this kind of area here, it's almost in silhouette. See that? Comes down there. So this whole area, put your weight in your pencil, shade it all in, right onto the tip here, make it nice and black, make this stand out, because I'm going to shade this in a minute, but not as black as this part here. Bring it down like that, and then this part, as I said, is shaded black, but not as black as that. So I'm going to work right along here with the black, and also it'll be very dark under here, because these kind of leg feathers are black as well. Okay, I've worked on that with the black, now I'm going to get in with the uh, gunmetal, that's grey, a bit of grey shading in here, and especially around here, around the eyes. Like that, you can go over your yellow a bit, and you put in a few little lines like that to suggest the, the feathers around the eyes, you know, a few marks. And bring your gunmetal into the, the beak here. Leave a little bit of light around the edge like that. And then once I've done that, we can work over that with a blue colour. Comes down a bit in there. Okay, we've got this uh, ultramarine colour, which I'm now going to just kind of tickle over the top, <laughs> over the top of the grey there, give it a wee little bit of colour. Come down just below it in the side of the beak. Bring that to along the bottom of the beak there. And a bit around the bottom of the neck here, like that. Maybe a couple of bits up here. And then down to the talons, we can use the blue to bring in the quality of the, the feet here. We'll work over that again with the grey. Okay, now I've done that. Now uh, I've started, as you can see, to actually outline with a thicker pen, just to give that uh, a bit more, you know, dramatic look to it. Uh, what I want to do is outline the outside shapes with uh, the thicker pen. Okay, I'm starting from here, and as you go up around these with short quills, you know, use your pen like that. Short strokes coming down along its back, like that. But when you get to the smoother feathers, then just use straight lines like that. As delicately as you can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to round all of these shapes with the darker pen. Let's see how it looks. 
Right, well I've outlined the entire shape, but also what I've done is uh, these uh, main feathers here, I've just flicked the pen around them too, just like that, just to give a wee edge and bring them out a bit more. Okay, maybe some of these lines down like that. So I think that's fine. That's a vulture, <laughs> a mean looking chap. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.